Praise be to God forever and ever. Once again, in Psalm 28, we see David's tone on changing as the psalm unfolds. In the beginning, we hear David crying out to the Lord in verses 1 through 5 as he is in a time of great need. He even feels alone and abandoned by the Lord, and he still fights against the feelings and cries out to the Lord. Then in verse 6, his tone changes. He turns his cries to praise and worship, to glorifying the Lord. In verse 6 and 7, it states, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song, I praise him. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you are our shield. You are our strength. You are our help. We trust you, Lord. I trust you. I am praying for the one, for those who feel alone and abandoned. May they be filled with your love, be filled with your overwhelming hope, your everlasting hope that is anchored, anchored in Jesus. May they may change them in a way that transforms them forever. I pray that they would have an encounter with Jesus that changes everything because Jesus changes everything. Help us, Lord, live a life of worshiping you and only you, even through the hard, even through the waiting, even through the blessings. Praise be to you forever and ever and only you. In Jesus' name, amen.